We're going to stay with medical matters now, and um, this gentleman's no stranger to the Sky News studio. He's Yasser Martini. Uh, unfortunately, um, he's been in here for very sad occasions before. Uh, happier day today. He's here with his sons Rufus and Oscar. Uh, Rufus is seven and Oscar is eight. Just identify <laughs> Rufus' hand up. There you are, that's Rufus. This is Oscar. There we are. Oscar does it without even being asked. Um, but um, Yasser was, has been in here in previous years as a father of a little girl called Margot who touched hearts around the world. Uh, Margot Martini bravely fought and sadly lost her fight with leukaemia. Now that was nearly three years ago. This was a global appeal, which we were part of here on Sky News Sunrise, to find a matching stem cell donor. It didn't work out. It's very sad for everybody involved. But Yasser, her legacy, it hasn't stopped you, her legacy lives on. And we're talking about this organisation that you have called Kidzania. Tell me how Margot was living on through Kidzania. So Margot died 18 months ago. Um, and we have Team Margot Foundation is the charity that we set up, which has, which campaigns for people to join the bone marrow register. And so um, we have an educational initiative. And part of that is at Kidzania London, which is a um, it's the UK's first educational, exper ed um, uh, educational experiential uh, entertainment yeah. right. uh, venue. Right, so you're making this whole education of medicine um, like a game well, to them, in a way. We want people to be better human beings, and this is about humanity. So really what we want is um, to appeal to children of primary school age um, and Kidzania attract four to 14-year-olds to become conscious about how giving to help others, giving blood, giving platelets, giving stem cells or bone marrow and ultimately organs, can now, help save your life. Rufus has got very excited because he's spotted <laughs> behind there that very big picture of you on the cinema screen there. Um, how is this, and a uh, very big smile from Oscar there, you're very photogenic, the two of you. What are they doing here? So this is a um, medical courier activity. When you go to Kidzania, you get a job, a series of jobs, actually. So you can be a doctor, a dentist, or a, you can work in a chocolate factory. And we've got this new dedicated activity to Team Margot, which is a medical courier where they transport blood or stem cells or platelets or, or a hard organ to, from one part of the city to the hospital. Um, then they get sign off. They come back with a trolley with a blue flashing light on it, and they get given a, <clears throat> a wristband. So there's a backstory. They understand why they're doing this. It's urgent. It's going to save someone's life. Then they take it away, this wristband, and they can, be a, they can encourage someone to be a superhero, i.e. their parents, by joining the bone marrow register in the real world after Kidzania and the activities so over. So they buy into the whole concept. Correct. They've been part of, part of it all. So Rufa, uh, Rufus and Oscar, was it fun? Yeah. Yeah, so talk us through what you did. We saw you there carrying some stem cells in a bag for delivery. Is that right? Yeah, talk us yeah, through what you did. Yeah. So basically, um, the lady gave us um, a bag mm -hmm. and then there was some blood inside it. And we basically had to deliver the blood bag to the hospital. And then we get signed and all that sort of thing. And then we'd come back and get a Team Margo wristband. And Rufus, I imagine you had to do that as quick as you could. Yeah. Time yeah. is of time is of the essence. Oh, yeah. yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, very urgent. Again, what I like about this is, you know, in a way, we're all detached from the real world about our food, for instance. We think our food comes in packets. We don't see how it's farmed or what's involved in the process of it. This again is like our bodies. Oh, something's gone wrong. How do we put this right? So early on, that connection is formed. Yes, and and. I didn't know about this stuff, I'm ashamed to say. I'm hoping that this, this generation will be better placed to be better human beings and that they'll be more readily blood donors and on the stem cell register. Because if more people knew about this, quite frankly, the, there would be more blood donors and more stem cells. people are watching this the today, stem cell schools, be clubs, organisations, people just with their own individual family, they want to get involved, what do they do? Go to teammargo.com. We're a signpost. We tell you where you can go and how you can do the registration. We, we encourage people to join the bone marrow register primarily, but we're also massive supporters of blood donation as well. Yeah. And, and that's what we do. We campaign. This weekend, just for your 
We're rowing across the Irish Sea. Yes, yeah. wonderful. Um, Good luck to you. Raising. I could think of nothing <laughs> worse. Lucky. That deserve lucky. donations for that. <laughs> yeah. I thought that would take. I saw Team Margot <laughs> taking part in the marathon yesterday. I was cheering there, your participants. There on. were a few runners, and one yeah. in particular, very game, Tim Smith. He wore a, a huge, great board. Yeah. He was the one I was well, cheering. I saw him. I, yeah. I just think it's brilliant that you know you've continued to come in here. You continue to push Margot's memory. You oh, continue to be it. practical about this. You know, and it is always lovely. Oh, great right. seeing you. Yeah. Um, and if we can help in any way. I, I presume, Rufus and Oscar, you're not going to school today. Now you've been on TV, Dad's not going to make you go <laughs> Oh, school. no, that's where Is, we're headed. Are you still going to school? <laughs> oh, my word. Well, you, you look, look very smart in those uniforms. You look very happy about the prospect. Yeah, but you've got to go and see if all your friends watch you on TV this morning. Go in and soak up the superstardom. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much Thank indeed. And uh, we've got Jackie after the break still to come.